Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your tripod shots look a lot cleaner and kind of just have like plus 100 aura. Now, the biggest thing with tripod shots is they just sometimes look too static. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys two methods to be able to like actually make them look a lot better, but also like keeping it super, super subtle. So that way your viewer doesn't even realize like you threw on some sauce and it's just these little tiny details that literally make or break an edit so before we go ahead and get inside the video i'll let you guys know that my name is chris said and i run the takeover shop where so editing assets and presets for content creators just like you and if you're watching in the month of september i'm currently uploading each and every single day as it is currently saucy september meaning that i am just dropping sauce each and every single day to celebrate the launch of shake sauce 2 which by the way if you guys want to go ahead and get a free seven day trial link will be down in the description below so without further ado let's go ahead and get started inside of after effects in today's tutorial so i actually have all of my footage sort of chopped up already lined up inside of after effects i'm going to show you guys what it's looking like i'm going to actually remove all of the overlays and just let you guys see what it looks like before So like, as you can see, like, it's not horrible, right? Like you could post this and it could be like an okay edit and it could perform just as well, but there are some secrets to add some sauce. Now, the first thing is actually making it look like a handheld look or just adding a little bit of movement. And the way that we're going to do that personally is we're going to use shake sauce too. If you want to learn how to do this effect for free one, install a seven day free trial or two, go watch this video in the top right corner where I show you guys how to actually add shakes to your videos all within inside of after effects with no plugins. Okay. So today we're actually going to be using shake sauce for this. So I'm going to go ahead and just go up here to this handheld preset and we're going to go ahead and just hit check mark. And this is automatically going to fill the timeline with the shake sauce. And then let's see what it's looking like right now. So as you can see, it's a little bit too fast and maybe the amplitude is a little bit too big. So here's how you actually fix that. For me, I go to position. I'm going to turn the position frequency to like literally 0.5 because I want this to be a super subtle effect. And honestly, I might just throw this up to 10 and then we'll see how this looks. So the key for this shake is to make it super subtle. So let's go ahead and watch this back and see how it's looking. Okay, cool. So it's super, super subtle. Like that's actually exactly what we're looking for. Just like that to where you can almost like barely even tell that there's any movement. Now, if I was a viewer on Instagram, I probably wouldn't realize that this movement is taking place. But as you guys can see, it is making a big difference. It's kind of just adding like a little bit of movement, but a little bit of interest, which is exactly what we're looking for. Now, the second step is just adding a simple scale in for the actual like composition or clips and the way we do that is you want to right click over here new and then go adjustment layer and then there's two ways you can do it um, you can add a preset or you can go to transform and do it manually i'll do it manually for you guys just to drop some sauce share with you how to actually do it so you go to scale you hit u to see your keyframes i'm going to go in the beginning because i want it to scale in and then i'm going to go to the end and then just maybe do like 120 something like that it looks like a good frame and then just throw this at the end and then we'll go ahead and play it back and see how it looks Our fire yeah so this is like looking really really clean as you guys can see we have a subtle zoom and then a subtle handheld effect and honestly to me this looks way way cleaner and like just a lot better it has a little bit more interest a little bit more energy and it just seems like you know you're actually a good editor rather than just like just cutting stuff up and uh calling it a day anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video if you guys want to go ahead and cop shake sauce too link will again be down in the description below if you guys want to learn how i edit my instagram reels in premiere pro go ahead and watch this video in the top right corner but that is it for today remember take action take over i'll see you guys in the next one peace out